So here at the Neurovascular Research Laboratory, one of the central bits of equipment that we've got is an environmental chamber. And this is quite a, a unique room in effect because we can heat people up to 40 degrees centigrade and we can freeze them down to minus 40 degrees centigrade and we can take them to any altitude so we can uh, effectively give them less oxygen than they're used to breathing at sea level. Now, this is very important for us in terms of uh, we can recreate a day in the life of a patient suffering with vascular disease but it generates a lot of interest amongst the athletes as well because of course they're interested in using uh, altitude training or intermittent hypoxic training as a means of boosting performance and doing that legally. So we've done a lot of work with uh, many different types of Olympic based athletes coming into the London 2012 Games uh, and the aim being that they can become used to the low oxygen concentrations when they're training so that when they're then training at sea level and performing in the Olympics um, they're effectively turbo boosted. So a lot of our work is focused on the role that the brain plays in determining exercise performance and again this is very much the forgotten sister in much of the research uh, that's been conducted to date.